Hey guys, welcome back. So today, brought home this Toro recycler mower. This is powered by a seven horse Briggs Quantum engine and looks to be in pretty good shape. You know, there's no rust that I can see. All the parts are there, nothing's broken, and it even has a bagger. Now, the person selling this was not asking much. He only wanted $20 for it. And actually he talked himself down to free. So. I wasn't gonna argue with that. Haven't done anything to this. Haven't even pulled it over. So, you know, I have no reason to believe that there's a major issue going on here. The listing did say that it runs, but it leaks oil and starts smoking after a minute. So there's a few things that come to mind when I hear that. I think top of the list is overfilled oil. So I'm gonna get you set up a little bit better. We'll check the oil and if that looks good, I'm gonna check the blade. I wanna make sure it's tight, and if all is good, we'll bring this thing outside, start it up, and see exactly what it's doing. Yeah, the oil actually, it's filled properly, and doesn't seem to be much fuel mixed in, so whatever the issue is, I don't think it has to do with oil. Yeah, blade's not too bad. It might be slightly bent. Uh, let's just double check that torque. I want to make sure it's at least at 35 foot-pounds. Yeah, it was a little bit loose but not dangerously so. Anyway, I'm not gonna bother cleaning it yet. Just get this outside. All right, well, it was supposed to be a running lawnmower that smokes and it's not starting. So I guess I should double check that the gas is full, but I'm pretty sure that it is. And also when I'm pulling the engine over, the drive wheels seem to be trying to engage. So I would say we have an issue there as well. Anyway, let's check that gas out. Assuming it's full, we'll just get the air box cover off and give it a little shot and see if it starts up. Yeah, it's about half full. That should be enough. Yeah, it looks like this mower is seeing a bit of dust. I mean, the filter on the back side actually looks halfway decent. But another possibility is that this engine has ingested a lot of dirt and the rings are worn out and that could be why it's smoking.
Okay, I shut it down, didn't need to see any more. The engine is running fine. There's no issue with it. Now, it did start to smoke, but the smoke was not coming from the exhaust outlet itself. It was actually coming from kind of behind the muffler. So I thought, okay, just some oil burning off the block. And then I saw what looked like a piece of grass, like a chunk of it right there, kind of blow out. And it was glowing red. It was on fire. And that agrees with what I was smelling. So it smelt like burning grass. And that's exactly what it is. So I think this mower just needs a good cleaning. So we'll get it inside, get all the tins off, and clean up that block the best we can. Now, there are still issues with this. It was hard to start, so I'm gonna to try to restart it now. And I think the biggest issue here is actually the drive system. You know, I started the mower and one of the wheels was spinning, but not with any force. And when kind of engaging the personal pace system, it didn't seem to affect what that wheel was doing. It was spinning, but not with any power. And the left wheel here was not doing anything at all. So we'll chase that, but let's finish sorting the engine out and then I'll see what we need to get that drive system working properly. Yeah, that carb needs to be cleaned as well. It's not terrible, but it's, um, it's not quite right. I mean, to be honest, I was expecting worse. I mean, this isn't great, but I've seen a lot worse. So I'm actually going to get this outside. I'm going to start by probably blowing it off, and then um, we'll try some super clean and some water.
right, that cleaned up better than expected. Anyway, let's get the carb off and get it cleaned up. All right, there's really not much to these carburetors. The bolt holding the bowl on is the main jet, so we're gonna focus a lot of attention there. We'll also clean up the emulsion tube and any junk that may be in there. Yeah, I wish I'd caught more of that. There does seem to be water down there. And that would definitely cause hard starting or no starting. Anyway, let's get the bowl off and see what it looks like. It's very clean. That is it. So I'm going to run through everything with the wire. We'll soak this for a few minutes in the ultrasonic and put it back on. Okay, it's all clean, and I uh, just washed off the degreaser and blew it dry. So, ready to put this thing back together.
just gonna get the old gas out of the tank before reconnecting it to this carburetor. Okay, well the gas is not that old and I don't see any water. All right, not too bad. I wouldn't say it's perfect, but it is a little bit easier to start. You know, it mostly starts on the first pull, but sometimes it is a second pull machine, which is fine. You know, the smoking seems to be gone. So 
that is no longer an issue. And as far as the drive wheels, not completely disengaging, there is actually an adjustment here on the handle. Uh, right there, you can crack that loose. And there's tension on this right now. So I want to take some tension off. So I want to slide this a little bit to the left to relieve a bit of tension. And that hopefully will stop the wheels from spinning. So I'm going to give that a try, start it back up and see if it solves that issue. All right, well, we got one of the drive issues sorted out. The wheels now disengage. So the other issue, I think, has to do with the wheels themselves. There is a gear on these plastic wheels. And because it's plastic, they wear out. So I do hear this one grinding, and the other one really isn't doing much of anything. So I think the wheels probably need to be replaced. We'll pull those off and take a look in a minute. Uh, but first, Gonna get the oil changed and I wanna take care of the bottom of this deck. It needs to be scraped and that blade sharpened. Yeah, there is a slight hint of metallic in this oil. So, you know, I don't know how old this is, so I'm not overly concerned with it. Uh, the engine does sound good, but yeah, this oil should have been changed long ago. Looks good. I unplugged the spark plug wire again. Anytime you rotate the blade, you want to make sure that is unplugged just in case. Yeah, the blade isn't too bad, actually. You know, there is a little chip there, but not too bad. Anyway, we'll sharpen that up a bit. You just want to match the angle as best you can. Yeah, not too bad, at least on this side. I think the other side has a lot more wear on it, so this blade is going to have to be replaced uh, sooner than later. Anyway, after sharpening it, it's always a good idea to check the balance. And in this case, it looks like the right side is a bit heavy. Let's just flip it over and make sure. Yeah, it's a little bit heavy, so I'm going to take a bit off of here. We'll check it again. Yeah, I think we're good.
All right, I'm gonna pull this wheel off since it's straight up in the air. This is the one that was moving, the only one, uh, but it was grinding. Yeah, the gear doesn't look great, but I actually thought it was going to look a lot worse. Anyway, this one kind of worked. Let's check the other one. Yeah, it definitely has some wear on it, but I was not expecting to see any teeth on there at all. So there's a pretty big gap, actually, between this cog and this one here. Because if it was a little closer, it would still work, but it's not. And unfortunately, there is no way to move it closer. So I think we need two new wheels. This gear does not look to be removable. All right, courtesy of Amazon, we've got two new wheels. Uh, they were about $40, which is a bit pricey, but considering this mower was free, I'm not too worried about it. Anyway, pretty easy to install, so I'll show you how to do the one here on the left, and uh, then I'll finish up the other. All right, I hope this works because my grass is way overdue. All right, not too bad for a mower that was given to me for free because it had engine issues. The engine's fine. You know, it needed a little bit of TLC, but there is nothing wrong with this engine. The drive system, on the other hand, that was the real issue, and I'd say is probably going to be the issue again in the future. I mean, the gears aren't grinding now, but I could see from the old wheels I pulled off that only the tips of the gear are engaging and that is not good. You know, I think there is a design issue here on this system. And I took a quick look online. Lots of people are complaining about this problem. And Toro actually recalled this exact model, not this year, which is a 2010, but a 2011 recycler mower with the same drive system. They were failing right out of the gate. People would be bringing them home brand new, take them out of the box, and like an hour later, the drive system was dead. So, yeah definitely a design issue. You know, I didn't see a clear 
correct way to make any adjustments on this model. But if you have any ideas, let me know in the comments. I hope this video helps someone. Thanks for watching.